16. This stay standing. Uh, okay. nice Make a motion of call of the board of meeting the order. What are we Meeting the order. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I pledge your allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the, the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, God indivisible, liberty, 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 and justice for all. Roll we'll call St. Martin here. Martha Eldridge? Here. Mr. Simpson? Here. Chief Cushane? Uh, nothing really new to report for this past week. It's just been busy. We've had some accidents and uh, things like that, but nothing major. Um, Brian Baker has started week two for the academy, so there's this week 14 more to go, and we'll get him back. We'll get him back. Okay. We'll get back. But everything's good. All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. My way, TJ. Billy's out working, but he uh, wanted me to tell you on Monday, checked all boots, sanded as needed, fixed front and rear lights on loader, also greased it, salted, sanded again that day. Next day, sanded all roofs, salted spots, made up hoses for transfer station truck, changed wing blade on the truck seven, and also truck winter sand. Uh, plowed, salted, and sanded all roofs, truck winter sand again. Checked all roots, plowed, uh, plated front plow on, and welded on truck seven. Pushed up winter sand that we had hauled in by private contractors. And we fixed the exhaust on the sidewalk tractor. Checked all roots, put wing on the grader in preparation in case we get a lot of snow. And dropped off piston up at Barrel at Alpine. And I went up myself to meet them because we work with them quite often. Um, myself, I called about the New Hampshire Peterbilt, called the New Hampshire Peterbilt about the truck and I pick it up in the morning. Um, Which truck is that? The new uh, six-wheel dump truck that we ordered. Um, I went around to different areas and talked to people about parking in the road and also pushing their snow into the road. We wrote up a new letter so I could give to them. Uh, the last loader just went back that we were using and we come to a conclusion on a loader, the one that we, we would like to recommend. Um, I worked with Matt for a uh, policy that we're trying to write and put together. Can you back up a little bit and tell us about the price of the loader? The uh, three loaders come in. One was 141. The other one was 100 and 144, if I believe, with no warranty, and that's the one that we liked. And the third one was 150,000. Um, I called the salesman back with the one that we liked and the other ones and talk to them about what our concerns were, we voiced our concerns. The biggest concern about the loader that we all liked was the warranty and he ended up throwing in the warranty and all the things that we didn't like, he threw that in too and come down to 141, 80, 877 I believe it was. That's a big savings, so 150. Quite a bit of savings there. He upped our trade from 17,500, I went online and looked what they were going for and he brought it up to 20,000. So from 17,500 to 20,000, he gave us a little bit more for our old loader. And threw in a $9,000 extended warranty, yep, right? Yep, $9,000 for the warranty that he threw in. It's five year, 5,000 hour, and there's no no fee. It's 100% paid for for that five years or the 5,000 hours. Um, as far as the rec department goes, uh, he'll obviously talk about his, but we do, tried to flood the ice rink and with the weather, it just didn't work. Um, we're going to get a liner and try to contain the water. The sidewalks, you know, we're going to use a little bit different salt and we're going to use the blue salt at the library due to the rugs and stuff. We want to try to keep those nice because they, yeah, they might be getting the rugs. Um, <coughs> we tested the panic buttons for the safety meeting. I had called night security and worked with them and we tested all the panic buttons and all the offices. Did you test mine? Um, not sure. We had them all there, right? Nope. Mine's in the office. We can test it. I can test it whenever you I've learned how to do that. I put it on test and we tested the ones that were in the town hall. Great. So if I didn't know there was other ones, I can go grab them. Um, Thank you. We're going to start cleaning the front steps at the, I believe it's called the Main Street 
some people use down there. We're going to start cleaning those we weren't cleaning before. Figured we would. And I'm the OCC kind of, bill? Oh, Main Street. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. And other than that, working on that policy and um, dealing with the sidewalks. And that's pretty much it for me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Recreation Department, Craig. Uh, TJ just spoke to the ice. Uh, looks like this Friday is supposed to be in the teens, so it should be a good time to flood it. And then as far as programs going, everything's going smoothly. The travel basketball teams both are doing great. And, yeah, that's really all I have right now. Okay, thank you. thank you. I did want to tell you, Thursday when I came in, and Jim was full of kids playing basketball. It was very nice to see them. Yeah, and it's a great group of kids, too. Very nice. Who was, who was managing that young man? Fellow? Eric Smith. Okay. And uh, I believe that day, because I was at the conference, it was Slade or Colt Avery. Okay. Thank you. Slipman's office. Uh, so we worked on personnel issues, including preliminary work for the anticipated transfer station position, hopefully, that we get. Um, did significant work on the budget, including tying up the remaining department budgets. We're now at 100% of departments and agencies have been voted on and recommended by the Board of Selectmen. More articles have continued to evolve, getting more detailed and fine-tuned with respect to the funding sources and the legal word, wording. That's been something I've worked on hard. Um, and when, at this point, we've presented all the selectmen recommended department budgets and more articles to the budget committee at last Thursday's committee meeting. And we have one this week on Wednesday as well. Uh, I've worked with TJ uh, quite a bit in the last couple weeks uh, for purchases on the highway department from the loader to evaluating our parking lot and sidewalk maintenance needs, and, and we've made a lot of progress there. Um, the end of last week facilitated ongoing technology improvements, setting up uh, TJ and uh, our new code enforcement officer, Jonathan, with the technology they need, uh, which is a big improvement, and then uh, begun working on the town report. So this is a reminder, I need all department and agency reports by next Friday, which is the 24th. Uh, in order to be included for the 2019 book. Please and thank you. Town Clerk, Tax Collector, Kelly Skeen. Yeah, where would I just need to Okay, tax collection was 177000 Of that, 123000 came through on online payments. People are enjoying that. Other for town clerks, we brought in a little over twenty-two thousand dollars in autos, dogs, and uh, fine records. We are getting ready for the February elections, which is a presidential primary. Our hours will be eight a.m. to seven p.m. We have absentee ballots available now, and we are also getting ready for the town election sign-ups, which start in January, first the Wednesday, and then goes through till January 31st on a Friday. And this Wednesday through Friday? Uh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Okay. And the the, val the presidential ballots are up on the website. Yes, Sam did put those up for us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Kelly. Transfer station. Bruce. Yes. I got it. Uh, if you're doing our normal recycling stuff there, uh, We've got 22 ton of mixed paper ready to go out, but I'm waiting for a price and it's not looking good. I haven't got it yet, but one town was quoted $85 a ton, plus trucking, so... How much is the trucking? $2,500 to get it to the site. Let's just get rid of the paper. Yeah, just get rid of the paper. So mixed paper is really going down. Uh, we'll have to make a decision. I'll bring it to you when I find out whether we're going to continue bailing it or throw it away or what. And we've got a couple of other small increases coming up, electronics, two cents a pound, uh, $25 more to haul our metal. They only charge 100 but it's going up to 125 so I've got to get some figures together and come up and sit down with you and find out if we want to go up on prices or what we want to do. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Zoning enforcement. Do you have a report from? Do I have one? Do you have anything from our new zoning sure. officer? He said he, Jonathan said he would give you, so we don't have him on overtime, or we don't have him going past his hours. 
No, so. he's not going past his hours. He's very busy. No, but what I'm saying is he's going to give you a report. I haven't received it. Okay, that's fine. So he did, he just I, we just discussed it. So yeah. we'll be giving you something to read for him. So. He will be. Okay. Yeah. Um, We've been doing an awful lot of inspections out there. Okay, uh, so the building. Well. So where are we? Uh, a lot of permits still going out, and it's very busy out there. A lot of inspections. Okay. Uh, and zoning, it's getting. There's a lot of zoning issues out there. Uh, he's yeah. going to be very busy for quite some time. Sure. Uh, we're working hand in hand. That's good. Uh, That's good. It's working out well. Yeah, and it's a hand in hand. The, the, yeah, it's a twofold job. <laughs> um, what about the auto parts? Uh, they're putting shelving in this week, okay. uh, so a couple of weeks, maybe a month, they should be open. That's the Osprey, yeah. uh, the O'Reilly's. O'Reilly's, right. Yeah. Yeah. Within the, the month, I would well. think they're going to be open. Yeah. See the walls are all up. All the walls yeah. are up, yeah. Yeah, and they've worked out the septic's all in place now. Uh, they're spraying, and they're putting the shelving in as we speak. Okay, great. Okay. Thank you. So we got government buildings. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <clears throat> like I said before, we did, we did test those pen buttons, and we'll do yours also. Um, we, I, I said before, we're going to clean the steps at the main street from the front. And they weren't done before, but I think they should be done if they're there. Uh, we're looking at purchasing a new plow to plow the government buildings instead of using the loader. Not only is it, I feel unsafe, but it also damages the parking lot and it's a little overkill, big loader plowing, we're going to use the plow. Um, other than that, uh, we're getting the furnace guy to come down to the town garage furnace is not running right and one of the waste, the waste oil furnace is leaking. He's going to look at that. We just had a really good deal. We had the remote garage door openers installed on the last four doors. The new addition had remote garage door openers. We just had the last four doors done for a really good price, and they it should be a lot safer for the guys. They don't have to get in and out. They can just open the door and drive in. Okay. And other than that, everything's going good with those. Great. Thank you. Can open the meeting to public input? Is this my moment? I think yeah. so. Okay. I don't know if you remember me from the ambulance meetings. Yes, your name, please. Uh, so, you must have received this. Do we have uh, your name for the record? Uh, my name is uh, Dick Fortin. I am uh, representing the Six Town Ambulance Committee that was working on an ambulance contract starting in 2020. So, you all received this uh, addendum. Yes. With signature sheets associated with it. Uh, one sheet only. Yeah. So. Right. And, and so, uh, what happened is I started uh, collecting those in. One of the towns objected to separate signature sheets, and what they thought would be a better thing would be on the last page where the items are actually delineated that all the towns would initial that same sheet. So I have eight copies here, and I was wondering if you would be able to just make a initial motion. these. Yep. Make okay. a motion that we initial these eight pages for the ambulance contract for the addendum. Second. Okay. Signatures are just. Oh, uh, you can just. Just these are just anywhere. All three are signatures. No, uh, just initials. That's all we need. We will hang on to the uh, all signature sheets. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So the signature sheet all with each town having its own. Uh, uh, you do want that? Yes. Okay. I thought you were bringing a new signature sheet. Yep. yep. And once I have all these compiled, you will get a sheet back with all of the initials as well as the signature sheets.
Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to make a motion that we sign the Selectman's Work Session in non public session from Thursday, January 9, 2020. Second. All, right. All those in favor? Aye. I abstain. Aye. Aye. I abstained. I abstained. Motion that we sign the selectman's work session on public session from Monday, January 6, 2020. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Make a motion that we select that we approve the selectman's meeting regular minutes from Monday, January 6, 2020. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 The delegation of deposit authority pursuant to the provisions of RSA 41 colon 29 comma 2 comma the town treasurer has the responsibility to deposit all such monies received by the town of Ospie in appropriate financial institutions as outlined in the statute. RSA 41 colon 29 6 allows the treasurer to delegate deposit or other financial functions to other town officials or employees provided such delegation is in writing and includes written procedures acceptable to the Board of Selectmen. Such delegation may only be to a town official or employee bonded in accordance with RSA 41 colon 6. The Ospie Town Treasurer hereby delegates deposit function of authority to the Ospie Town Clerk Tax Collector, his slash her respective deputy and his slash her assistant of the funds collected in that role. These deposits shall be made on a weekly basis or daily whenever receipts total $1,500 or more. In making these deposits, the Ospie Town Clerk Tax Collector, his slash her respective deputy, and his slash her assistant shall provide the Ospie Treasury Treasurer with the deposit slip from the town's general fund financial institution, in addition to a detailed backup report documenting the receipt of monies compromising the deposit made. This authority shall remain in effect until rescinded by the written notice of the Ospie Town Treasurer. I make a motion that we sign this. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. make a motion that I sign the 941 for 2019 see employees quarterly federal tax return second all those in favor uh, uh, Purchase order for the OCC building repairs. We we're encumbering the balance from 2019 in the amount of $40,420. I make a motion that we sign this purchase order. 
Second. Second. All those in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Purchase from Armon Networks. This is to replace the Windows 7 desktop re desktops that we have, firewall and switch replacements in the amount of $1,820. I'll make a motion that we sign this purchase order. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> Purchase order for Amon Networks. This is to um, upgrade the server hard year, hardware <coughs> with a three year warranty and the licensing with a three year warranty. I make a motion that we sign this purchase order. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I have a request for a vacation. Make a motion that we sign this. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <clears throat> yes, sir. The town of Osby checked out the totals for week ending January 11th, 2020, with a pay date of January 14th, 2020. Total payroll was $45,769.11. Total accounts payable was $134,679.09. Total accounts payable for water and sewer was $9,984.93. Make a motion we approve this. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Payroll reimbursement check request for water and sewer payroll for week ending January 11th, pay date of January 14th. Total payroll is $3,455.03. Make a motion we approve this. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Have a request addressed to the trustee of trust funds from the Board of Selectmen regarding the withdrawal of the sidewalk expendable trust funds. Please issue a check to the Town of Osby in the amount of $23,946.34 for reimbursement of the following expenses paid, R&D paving invoice number 5371 in the amount of $23,946.34. Make a motion we approve this. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We have a notice of decision from the Osby Planning Board for Patrick and Deborah Smith regarding fog, referencing Fogs Ridge Road, tax map 264, lot 25, and tax map 264. Lot 26. This will be on available in the Slutman's office for review. And on the website in their and, minutes. And on the website. Notice of a decision from the planning board for Mr. John Howell re referencing 84 Broad Bay Street. <coughs> Tax map 31, lot 31 for a two lot subdivision. This will be available in the Selectman's office and on the website. I have a warrant for the Water and Sewer Department. In the name of the State of New Hampshire, you are hereby directed to collect water and sewer charges in the list here within committed to you amounting to $80 with penalties after February 14th. Make a motion we approve this. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 I have another warrant from the Water and Sewer Department to collect water and sewer charges in the list herein committed to you amounting in all the sums of 
$120 with penalties after February 14. Make a motion to approve this. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's it for me, sir. I have the Public Works Department weekly report, which has been made. That'll be uh, uh, on file in the Selectman's office and on the web page. Uh, the transfer station work log, which has been reported, will be on file in the Selectman's office and on the web page. I have a contract for use of facilities from the Carroll County Attorney's Office and the activity is police training. I make a motion we approve this contract for use of facilities. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. I have a contract for use of facilities from Teresa Smith for a birthday party, March 21st, and the deposit has been paid. I make a motion that we approve this contract for use of facilities. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. I have a yield tax levy warrant uh, from R.C. McLucas Trucking Company and in uh, Timber in the amount of $5,349.79. I make a motion that we approve this tax warrant. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Any old business? No. And the new business there'll be no meeting next week, January twentieth, for the holiday. Anybody else have anything on the new business? From the meeting to public input. Is there any public input? Hearing none. Hearing none, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.